Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Democracy Free with me, Alpha P Omega. Now today we are going to raise the stakes a bit, which is completely dumb because I failed even at the previous task, but yeah, that's how I roll. Today we are going to play Serbia. Serbia is much larger than our previous country. It has a population of 7.186 million people and its size is almost the double of Estonia. The life expectancy is 74.27 years, uh, the GDP per capita is 11,000 and poverty rate is 16%. Serbia is generally uh, one of the bigger Balkan states. It has a lot of problems, but it has been lately trying to, say, fix them on its way into European Union. And I'm personally looking forward to their advancements in many of their still difficult issues. But yeah, Serbia as a Balkan state is one of the smaller countries and thus it falls into my let's play. So let's read the description. Serbia, officially the Republic of Serbia, is a country located at the crossroads of Central and Southeast Europe, covering the southern part of the Pannonian Plain and the Central Balkans. A landlocked country, Serbia borders Hungary to the north, Romania and Bulgaria to the east, Macedonia to the south, and Croatia, Bosnia and Montenegro to the west. It also borders Albania through the disputed territory of Kosovo. The capital of Serbia, Belgrade, is among Europe's oldest cities and one of the largest in Southeast Europe. Now I played this country before during my stream and I got assassinated so let's see if I can do that again. So difficulty will be 200%, hurricanes and earthquakes on. Um, for a moment I'm gonna leave this one on. And for this one we have rolled Ah, this is going to be very hard. Where is it? The People's Party. The People's Movement. The People's Popular Front. The People's Party. Here. It's number 46 on my list. And the opposing party name is going to be... Um, the National Front, I guess? Why not? Again, political apathy, innate liberalism and innate socialism are staying where they were. So now let's look at Serbia and all of its problems. Okay, well, Serbia has a GDP of the worst possible kind. Unemployment is extremely high. Crime is extremely high. Poverty about half through education uh, lower half and health lower half so let's begin the term of office okay yeah uh, fun times so what are the major issues of serbia well you have an income of 44 billion uh dinars and we have an expenditure of 72 billion dinars. That's actually really bad. Deficit is 27.99 dinars. Though the debt is not that high, 69.86 billion. That's good news. Our debt is actually really low. So if we manage to kick the economy in the shin and make it move again, we can really get this one off the ground quickly. So the major problems, asthma epidemic, um, this is the tooth decay, dementia, that's one you haven't seen yet. Dementia is a category of brain disorder which impairs thinking and learning. It affects the retired uh, negatively and education, causes health, religious membership, alcohol consumption, tobacco usage and obesity. Health actually. I guess this is like an inverted version where it increases, though it might actually be not because health increases um, the time you live, so maybe that's how it's meant. We got obesity here, vigilante mobs, this is organized crime, inner city riots, we got ghettos and street gangs, rail strike, this is emigration. We got homelessness, uncompetitive economy, oh, skills shortage, that's a rough one. And we got pollution. 
Skills shortage hurts GDP incredibly. It's mostly caused by education. Hmm, we need to do something with this one quicker because uh, that one... That, that's the sole reason why our G... Actually, the highest... <laughs> okay, the highest uh, part of our income is government borrowing. I can't really believe that. Expenses though, pretty good. Military spending, well trained. We can cut on that a bit. But, yeah, the income is really screwed. And we're almost at the bottom. Global economy is getting tanked. Debt is straight going up. It's not really good. I don't know, what, our, what is our credit rating? B. Okay, that's not good. It's really not good. So, anyway, uh, I'm not entirely sure productivity is not included here. What's, yeah, skills shortage and uncompetitive economy. We need to fight these really, really fast. Productivity is getting hit on alcohol consumption and the health are negative. Okay, we're gonna start with improving the health of our people. It's really important. So, as before, alcohol awareness campaign must have. We are also going to start... Wait, where is it? Uh, the uh, compulsory language lessons. Interesting. Dental program would be good, but no. Uh, there's somewhere subsidies for healthy eating campaign. Definitely, directly targeted against obesity and I would like to get wait uh, there is junk food tax do so that one really increases uh, poverty and that hurt us last time really strictly though so here it's going to be even more important yeah look at that maybe we don't have to really put it high so much like, 45% doesn't piss off the farmers that much. So let's keep it at an income of 60 million dinars. Like so. It's going to be seen as a good move. Now, do we have um, some other things that we could uh, institute? Public services. You've got subsidies. I think they lower crime, yeah. So, all the way... I'm also going to, oh god, it's going to be awful, but we really need to change these things. Community policing is, okay, inner city rights don't get hurt by things. We got prisoner tagging, never had that one before. Crime, violent crime, and organized crime goes down. It's an interesting choice. Uh, we go eight. Intelligence services, police force needs to go up. If oh, I have insufficient political capital. What about the community policing? Can I? Yeah, I can raise this one. So let's go with it, and keep the free for next turn. So let's see. Credit rating downgraded. Strain of the bat. A hit to the freaking face. SCC. Great. Interest rate just. Shot up. Ah, that's not good. 0% uh, of the people would vote for us. Crime is on the rise. The only good thing is that our cabinet stays uh, behind us. And we got 33 um, for the capital this turn. Income tax 41%. Uh, this one could really help us if we increased it, but no. Uh, we should instead try to stimulate the economy rather than uh, stapling our people. We got time. GDP. Okay, organized crime is going down. That's good. Ghettos. We got the vigilante mobs. Police force. Crime. Crime. Police force, intelligence services, community policing. You've got subsidies. Uh, okay, another step towards is, where is it, witness protection program, really important against the most uh, dangerous crime cases, 
Police weapons. They deter crime and maintain order. Something tells me this is going to uh, be a liberal issue. Internet censorship. Ha! Huh. You wish. Okay, vigilante mobs. Racial tensions are not helping. Crime. Crime is the prime problem in our country. Serbia really needs to get rid of this. Vigilante mobs, equality, poverty, youth club subsidy. Is there something like... Um, Wait, I didn't increase the police force, did I? Yeah, I didn't. Okay, that's going to help a bit. Personal tagging. That's a major liberal issue though, but... You know, desperate times and all of that. Uh, we actually don't have alcohol abuse, don't we? Hmm, it's like the first country that doesn't have a problem with alcohol abuse. Uh, I'll need to... Okay, this one is going away on its own, I guess. But we can still do something like this. It's going to help with everything and lowers the obesity as well. So good for you. Now... Tax, no, public services. Stamp out racism week. Would be good, but technology colleges, that would be great. Oh my god, it would be great, but no. Uh, that's not necessary now. I guess there's nothing more that we can do here regarding... Hmm, regarding the crime, secret... Torture usage, oh my god. Emergency curfew. Police weapons voting age. You know, actually, no, these are mostly focused on other things. I'm gonna go with. Cycling campaign. That one improves health. We need that. And I'm gonna go with. Food stamps are awesome. That lowers. How is our poverty rate? Poverty. Uh, poor. Poverty is struggling, I guess. Well, farmers will like it, but... Hmm. We can go for... We can go for maximum here, that's... Actually, that's not gonna play such a huge role. I'm gonna go with it. See what happens next. So tooth decay is gone. Good. Crime is going down. Poverty is going down. Health is going up. Uh, we got budget report. CC. 8% of people would vote for us. Situation. Debt protection law. I'm going to limit the agency's activities as before. Okay. Debt is 131. I believe the GDP is not moving anywhere. No. It actually went down. Global economy is going up. We really need to get rid of these things. Uh, corporation tax. Productivity. Oh my god. Technology helps you a lot. Industrial automation. Health. How can I help? Oh, health is increasing. Cool. Pollution. It's all cycled together. Education. State schools are improving dementia, immigration, free school meals. Oh, these are really tricky. Emigration is going to end. That's good. And we don't have anything really... Wait, there is something that's really good, and that's adult education subsidies. Yeah. Add one just does wonders to our situation. So now we can focus on that one. Wait, how's the crime looking? Okay, this one is going straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. This is awesome. Okay, we nearly solved the crime problem. Obesity is going away as well. Asthma epidemic slowly. But what do we do now? That's the question. Health food subsidies are an awesome, another thing that I could do. I'm gonna go with it. 
though we need to balance this one with some additional attacks that could help us. Punitive attacks on superstores. Um, ours the capitalists bait. I'm gonna keep it at, at 38. 1.2 billion is good. It's going to help with what it wants to help with. And we can go with the youth pool. How are youth people? Oh, there's not that many of them. Who hates us? Everybody is seemingly liking us. When this, these things go away, they will love us. So we don't really need to be afraid of anything at this point. Uh, I guess telecommuting initiative. Why is it? Telecommuting working from home. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I must. Ah, uh, I'm so stupid. Telecommuting initiative. I I thought it was like uh, initiative for commuting, but it's uh, telecommuting or working from home is seen as desirable because it reduces the pressure on the transport infrastructure and can be an improvement to people's quality of life. It's also welcomed by parents. This policy offers tax incentives to companies supporting this. Uh, option. Yep, we're gonna do this one. That's why it increases birth rate. I'm stupid. Yeah, and it happens in the last one as well. And tourism ad campaign, why not? Uh, we need tourism. More tourism. Okay, let's see the next turn.